Uh, today we're going to talk about the structure and function of photosynthesis, specifically in plants and how the structure and function of, plant, of the leaves affect plants. Okay, photosynthesis is when you convert light energy into chemical energy, and it also produces ATP and glucose. So the structure of the plant is going to help a lot in the, the process of photosynthesis because the plants have leaves and the leaves are flat, which gives it more surface area to absorb more light, and that's going to help. The more light it absorbs, the more chemical energy it's going to make. So for example, if I only have one hand of surface area, I can only hold this many coins. However, if I increase the surface area of my hands by putting two, I can hold a lot more coins. Um, this is similar to the, the, to the structure of uh, the plants because if the plants have more leaves, it, it gives it more surface area, so it's going to be able to absorb more light, similar to how she's holding more coins with more surface area using two hands. The relationship, the relationship between structure and function in plants can also be demonstrated in the way they use roots to absorb water. Plants' roots aren't just straight down. They go really far out from where the base of the plant is. So that way, if they're being watered over here, they can still get the water all the way up to the trunk, even if it's not being watered directly on it. A real world example of this can be drinking from a straw. Similar to how a tree's long roots allow it to absorb water from far locations, somebody drinking from a straw can get drinks from a soda, even if it's really far away from them. surface area, which in turn means less water getting into the plant. Another way that the structure of the roots helps the tree is that it keeps it from falling over. Yeah, yeah. another example of structure relating to function. Yeah. Another way that the structure of the trees can relate to its function are the seeds. Seeds are usually strong so that they can't be broken open and so that they can eventually make their way to the ground and become trees themselves. Plants? have pollen which emit a good smell that attracts the bees and then the bees use this to pollinate other flowers and keeps the generation going and this continuous process is important in the structure and function of plants because it allows the bees to keep their line their genetic line continuous over time so in conclusion in this video, we discuss the structure-function relationship of plants and how the structure of how the plant looks relates to the functions of how well it works. So in photosynthesis, the goal is to produce glucose and ATP by using light energy and converting it into chemical energy. So the structure of the plant is going to help in this function well for photosynthesis. Um, we also saw that the function of roots help plants distribute water throughout the plant. So in our various examples, um, we showed how the structure of an object or of something helps it function better. So for the leaves, if the like the more leaves plant have, the increased surface area it has, which helps it absorb more energy to turn into glucose and ATP. Um, and this can be applied in other real life examples with the soda and the straw. And the yeah, and the coins for surface tension. Yes, and that yeah. So the structure and the function of things greatly, their relationship is really strong, and that helps the function.